So it's Thursday and I'm still not here. Sorry about that. So today you have two choices. You can either watch the video on the ancient Greek architecture and how math plays in there. It's pretty good, but yes, it's not X-Men. So, but it's educational, so there you go. Or, or if you don't want to do that, you can actually earn some extra credit today. So while the video is running, and you can either watch it or you don't have to, um, you can earn some extra credit by doing this extra credit activity. Now you have to choose, you have to do one or the other. You can't not do the extra credit activity and not watch the video. So you're either watching the video quietly or you're doing the extra credit activity. Uh, otherwise you'll be removed from class if you're violating both rules. So what is this extra credit activity? Well, it's coming up with your own polynomial division problems. That just sounded confusing. What did I just say? So you are going to come up with your own polynomial division problem. So very similar to what we've been doing so far in section 9.4. Uh, for example, like this particular problem, this is a division of polynomials. Remember with the whole long division? Yes. So you're going to be coming up with these guys. I don't want you to actually divide, but I want you to come up with an actual problem. Now, how do you do that? You can't just put in a random number uh, into those and expect it to work. Eh, it may and may not, So, but I don't want guesswork. So this is how you can come up with problems that actually are guaranteed to work. If you remember I my part three video, I showed you how to check your work. And to check your work, let me bring this back up again. I told you that you can take your quotient, your answer, and multiply it against the divisor. So if you take the quotient and you multiply it against the divisor, you should get the trinomial or the dividend. So always works. If you take your answer, you multiply it against the divisor, you should get your dividend back. So this is a binomial. This is a binomial. So in theory, if you take any two binomials and you multiply them together, and you get an answer that's typically a trinomial, then if you take that trinomial and divide it by one of the two original binomials, it should actually work. What did I just say? That means it's confusing to you? Well, let me show you. So for example, I'm gonna choose two random out of thin air binomials. I'm gonna go with, oh, I don't know, 3a minus four, times, oh, I don't know, negative 2a minus plus 5. Totally random. The only thing that has to be consistent is the variable has to be the same. Can't do different variables. You can, but don't. So now what I do? I foil it. Pretty easy. We know how to foil. Uh, first times first, so that's 3a times negative 2a. That's going to be negative 6a squared. Then 3a times 5, that is plus 15a. Then negative 4 times negative 2a, that's positive 8a. Then negative 4 times positive 5, that is a negative 20. I think I did my math right. Of course I didn't. That should be a negative here. 3a times negative. No. That is a positive. Yes, everything else looks good. So now I simplify it. And I end up with this. So this is, pretend this is my dividend. So if I take this problem or this answer and I divide it by any of these two, doesn't matter which one. So if I divide it by this, my answer will be the other one. Voila, I just came up with a polynomial division problem with an answer to boot. And I know it works because the reverse worked. So if your boiling was correct, then the rest of this should be correct as well. So I want you to do that if you want extra credit. Now, I don't want you to reusing, so you can't just do this with this and then do it with this and count this as two different problems. No, each of these has to be unique. So each problem that you come up with is going to be half point extra credit. And you can earn up to 10 points, which means you can give me 10 
sorry, 20 problems uh, maximum. So each of them was worth half a point of extra credit. Uh, they will be due on Friday, and you can do them in the class. If you can do them at home if you run out of time in class. So at the most, you can give me is 20. And if you did them all correctly, you'll earn up to 10 extra credit points, which is a lot. That's the same amount of points I assigned to a quiz, and it's extra credit, so it's going to be helping your grade even more. So, again, each one that you do is going to be worth um, half a point, maximum of 10 points, which means maximum of 20 problems. And again, the way you set them up is two totally random binomials. Uh, being multiplied, the only thing that you have to keep consistent is the variable. And you can change the variable from problem to problem within the problem, just keep them the same. So in the next problem, you can go with X, W, Z, and make them different, you know, should make it fun. So, yeah, that should take you most of the class time if you actually want to do for all 20. And I, there is no reason why you shouldn't do them unless you really like the video, and it's not a bad video. So you might want to watch that too and maybe do this at home. So however you want to... Uh, do that that's going to be up to you so thank you and i'll see you guys on friday